Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I really wanted to do uh, my a little bit of shopping haul, like what I have been purchase for um, the time that I'm in quarantine because as you guys know here in Switzerland it hasn't been a lockdown actually but um, people has to stay home but it's not actually a completely lockdown um, but uh, I have been staying home of course I work so I have to work but other than that Every, every store is closed like now um, at the beginning of Monday we're just starting opening um, like estheticians and um, hairdresser but other than that um, we just have uh, to grocery shopping and pharmacy the rest is closed um, temporarily so I have been doing a lot of shopping online and I really wanted to share some stuff with, with you guys and of course most of them are actually beauty products and makeup products and I want to show it to get guys to you. Um, of course I did a lot of luxury shopping as well but I don't want to share it in this video actually I want to do two separate unboxing of the stuff that I bought, the luxury unboxing one. So I wanna do two other separate video about them. So if you guys wanna see these ones, they will come, they will come, I promise. Uh, but now I thought to do something a little bit more different and show you what I have been purchased uh, that is not luxury related. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I have two Instagram accounts and I will link it down below. So I am all about luxury and skincare and beauty products and makeup, of course. So if you guys love fashion like I do and all the other stuff around, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's do it. So I think the first stuff that I bought was actually something from Hermes, okay, uh, we were talking not doing luxury <laughs> products, but I did bought something from the beauty department that is actually Hermes and these I never show on camera so I thought why not show it right now for you guys and this one is the Hermes lipstick, so Hermes came out now with uh, makeup as well. So they came out first of all with their um, lipsticks, setting finish and matte finish. They also came out with the limited editions ones and also with, I think it was like a lip pencil. So I just bought one because they are very expensive. I think they cost 70 francs, Swiss francs. And I thought to just try one and see what I think about it. And to be honest, I have been using it and I like it so, so much. Of course, I don't love it, but I like it. I like it. So the one that I bought is actually a satin lipstick and I'm all about liquid lipstick actually and matte finish but I really love the color so that's why I bought this one in the satin finish. The color is 13 Beige Kalahari and I think it's a very popular color uh, because I think two days after it was sold out. So I was one of the first I think in the, in the website and I ordered it immediately. So it comes in this beautiful white package and then out, when you take it out, is the typical Hermes, I don't know if the camera can focus, but this is the classic Hermes packaging. Exactly. So you just open it up like this, you slide it on the side. And then inside you have, of course, a dust bag for your lipstick. You can also do that. So, and this is amazing, like the packaging is so beautiful, so of course you're, just, no, you're not just paying for the name, but you're also paying for the packaging, and I hope I'm also paying for the ingredients they're using for it. <laughs> but it's beautiful, this um, color blocking, it's like white, black, and also with the gold, like it's an oxidized or bronze gold, and in front you do have the Hermes, um, like... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like the Hermes um, coin inside of it. So it's very luxurious, it's very heavy, and it has like a metallic closure. Exactly. So the color is like a pink beige color, and I have been using it, so you see it, but it says Hermes underneath. Exactly. It smells really good. It smells a little bit like it's sweet, like strawberry or like um, candy, to be honest. I'm gonna show you the color. Uh, 
the color is actually a pink nude color and it looks so good on the lips but of course it will not stay as long as a typical matte, li uh, matte liquid lipstick or matte lipstick but it has a satin finish it's very moisturizing and I just love the color, so I'm so happy I bought exactly this one. I'm also contemplating of buying another one, but I think it's momentarily sold out. And it's like a matte finish. And I think it calls just beige or nude beige. I don't remember. But I love that color as well, so maybe I will buy that one as well. So I have been liking this a lot. Not loving it, but I like it. The next is actually um, a combo purchase that I did and I first of all the thing that I was most excited about is this mask. This mask is the Cisle Paris Black Rose Cream Mask. It's actually an instant youth smoothing, plumping and brightening mask. It looks like this. This one is my third tube. Um, this mask is amazing uh it's very expensive but a little bit goes a long way and it smells so good it smells like roses it has 60 milliliter inside and this mask um it's beautiful you can use it during night as a sleeping mask you can also use it as a typical like 10 minutes mask and then afterwards you just rinse it with warm water and a cloth or what I have been loving this one for is actually using this on the plane. So if you feel very like um, dry, you can just put this one during your flight and you will feel like your skin is very plumping. You also will feel like it's very glowy as well. It also refines wrinkles. So I feel like this mask really does what it says it will do. So this is my third tube. I'm so excited, but of course it's very expensive. I think it's cost 140 euro but i was really lucky because i always go to douglas um swiss website and they always have like 30 percent off 20 percent off so i always buy this one with the sale <laughs> but i mean it's so good i can't rave enough about this product it's probably my favorite face mask i think it is because it's the one that i've been always truth to when i don't have it i really miss it so i feel like this is actually do everything for me and the next product that I bought together with the mask is, of course, a La Mer product. And it's my favorite lip balm. Of course, my beautiful lip balm from La Mer. I have been missing this so much. I have been without it for a couple of months. And I have been waiting for the new packaging. It's a little bit like more round. And it's kind of really cute. And as you guys see, I already use a ton of it because I'm so in love with it. It has like a mint flavor and I use this one actually during the night before I go to bed, but I also use it like, I always have it in my bag. So I adore this product so, so much. You guys know I have been raving so much about this product. I think this is like my 10th or 11th. I don't even know anymore because it's so, so good. Next, I uh, bought a bronzer, and this bronzer a lot of people was talking about, and I never found this in the store, so I checked just online, and then I found it, and it's the Butter Bronzer of the Physician Formula. Um, looks like this. It's not expensive at all, but they say this one is the best drugstore bronzer uh, out there, so I thought to check this out, and it's actually usually come with one color the color bronze or bronzer something just bronzer and now it came with four different colors so they have a lighter version a bronzer then they have the sunkiss bronzer that it's this one and then they have a four for deeper skin tone so i thought to buy the one a little bit darker than the normal traditional bronzer they have and it looks like this inside like behind you have like a you have sorry you have a mirror and you do have like a scapula that I never use but this product it's so good it's so pigmented it really comes in your skin really smooth and also blends really well with your foundation and what it has the most amazing smell it's it smells like summer like coconut yeah primarily coconut but also vanilla and 
it's it's a, it smells a little bit like the Marc Jacobs one, the coconut bronzer, but this one is a little bit more intense than Marc Jacobs one. Um, but I love it. I like it a lot. Of course, I prefer my Marc Jacobs uh, one, but this one is also really good, and especially for summer, I think one this one will be so good. And it has a very buttery. Um, consistency so I do recommend this one a lot then I bought two perfumes and these two perfumes I really want to talk, talk to you guys about so the first perfume that I bought is actually something that I always repurchase and it is my Dolce & Gabbana uh, the only one um, this one is a classic for me uh, my friend introduced me to this product um, my friend Minella and then I felt oh my god you smell so good what is it and then she told me that it was this one so afterwards I repurchase it and repurchase it I think this is like my fourth uh, bottle this is uh, the parfum and I saw that Dolce & Gabbana the only one came out with a new version I think it's intense I don't think it's called extreme I think it calls the only one intense and I really thinking about to buying that one but then I thought uh, you know when you buy online you never know how it smells you know so I thought better to be sure and just buy the one that I know it's really good so when when the the, the when the stores are open and of course I will go in and just try it on and see what I think about the intense one but um, this one you have to check out it's so good and the second perfume is actually something everyone was raving now for the longest time and I thought I need to buy it I never smell it but yeah I thought nothing can be wrong with this product and it's exactly from the Sol de Janeiro I have this one this one is the Sol de Janeiro uh, the parfum so this one is you guys already know the bam bam cream the most amazing bam bam cream um from sol de janeiro it's very popular um i have this one it's so good smells amazing and i also have the uh, body spray or the body mist from sol de janeiro and it really smells like coconut vanilla amber like a typical summer uh, perfume and everyone was saying why do you guys do a perfume and then they did so this one called sol uh, che rosa uh, 62 at the parfum so when I saw that cult beauty had it um, UK had it I thought I need to order this it was not that expensive to be honest I think it was like 60 euro uh, and it's like 50 milliliters so it's not bad at all and you guys it smells exactly like the Bam Bam cream, exactly like the body mist, but it, but is at the parfum, so it will last longer. Um, I haven't used this because it has been raining for like the two weeks that I have been here. So um, when it will be summer, I am gonna use this one so much because this is exactly what summer smells. So it's so, so good. Next, I did um, like a MAC order. So I was like lusting for, for MAC products because I haven't bought MAC products in a very long time. And the first thing I bought was actually a Fix Plus. Um, and this one was the Fix Plus Gold Light. And I am not sure about this product, to be honest. I have been using it. Um, they say you have to shake it before you spray it, but when I did it, I was full, like packed with glitter on my face and that was not what I wanted. So the whole makeup was destroyed. So then after I was like, I left it like this without shaking it and then I spray it on my face and it's actually beautiful because it's like a fix plus, so it's perfect. And it gives a little bit of shimmer, but like very, subtle and very beautiful i have been using it today i don't know if you guys see it so it gives a little bit of shimmer but it still look normal <laughs> so don't shake it if you guys had it don't shake it but other than that it, it's okay it's an okay product i will not repurchase it of course uh, i will stick to my normal fix plus or my huda beauty ones but Definitely not the gold light. Maybe for summer looks beautiful because you know then you are so tan and you know you don't have so much makeup and you spray on and you're very glittery. Can be. But for winter, not so good. Or for spring now, not so good. Then I bought three other products. Yeah, three other products from MAC. 
the f I bought two retro matte liquid lip color because a lot of people t told me that they are very good um, so the first color is of course one that I have been using that's why I don't have the packaging anymore and this one is back in vogue and this one is the classic one like a nude pink peach color I would say yeah yeah it's definitely peach and it looks so good on the lips is this color right here looks a little bit like this one as well from her mask but it's a matte liquid lipstick so it will stay very long and then I bought a red one because Jaclyn Hill was talking about this color that it's the perfect red color is actually the one um, the girl from uh, 50 shades of gray was wearing so she googled it because she wanted the perfect red lip uh, Jaclyn and she saw that it was exactly this one she was wearing and the name is it feels so grand so it's a beautiful red I wanted something more on the blue um, undertone and not orange undertone and it's exactly what it is it's in a blue undertone and I adore it oh my god it's so beautiful so I can't wait to using a red lip look at this this is so gorgeous so when we do not have to stay here and we can actually go and eat somewhere in the restaurants, I will definitely use this red liquid lipstick. The next thing and the last thing I actually bought from MAC is a dual dare all day waterproof liner. So it's a waterproof eyeliner, but you do have also like a um, pencil as well. So on this side, you have a pencil and I love this under my under eye. I do with this a lot. And on the other side, a normal waterproof eyeliner. Look how beautiful that look. And it's very, very black. I think the color is actually their black. So it's the blackest of the blackest. It looks like this. I have been using for the longest the Huda Beauty one and I like it a lot but I wanted something I wanted to try something else so that's why I bought this one and to be honest I'm pretty pretty impressed with the quality of Mac so the next is something I I adore is a new foundation um, I have been using so many foundations for the longest time. I'm not 100% sure about them. I have been using the Too Faced uh, Born This Way. I like it a lot. But then I use the Hourglass uh, foundation stick. It doesn't work so much for me during spring and winter. Better during the summer. And then I thought I want to try the Dior Backstage one. This one is the Face and Body Foundation. And the color that I have is 2.8 Neutral. This is everything. This is what I'm wearing today and I have been using it since I bought it. The face looks flawless. I have been going to work using face masks because you guys know, because I'm working in the hospital field, you do have to always wear a mask. When I take away the mask, the foundation is still there. It still looks flawless. The only place where it goes away, it's actually on my nose, of course, because you do have the mask on the nose. But other than that, the face looks flawless uh, it blends so well with all my other products and the face look not just matte but also a little bit glowy and very even so i'm very like without like with filter i like this product so much or i love it you guys have to check the dior backstage out Next, and it's actually the last thing I bought and I received it yesterday, is actually something from Victoria's Secrets. Um, I have been loving the body mist for the longest time. It's something that I always have in my purse if I'm going to work because after work so you do want to refresh yourself uh, before going home. So I have been using a lot of body mist and the one that I have that I love but I can never found again is the Victoria's Secrets Secret Bloom. This is so good. If you guys know where I can buy it, please tell me where it is because I have been checking everywhere. I think this one is, was a limited edition one uh, because I can't find it anymore. Uh, so I was checking the website, not the Victoria's Secret web website, a Swiss website that sells Victoria's Secret products. And I bought one because I thought it was this one, but it wasn't. Um, this one is the Bloom Box Rose Plus Hip Hop, it calls. And 
it's good because it's a lot of roses and stuff but it's not my favorite but of course I'm gonna use it a lot um, but it's not it's definitely not the one I wanted but then I bought another one from Victoria's Secrets that I wanted for the longest time I never found it and this one is the Victoria's Secrets coconut passion well you guys all know the coconut passion is a, like a classic one they have but this one is with shimmer look at this and behind says island coconut warm sands shimmer days forever i mean look at this it's amazing it has glitter everywhere and it smells like coconut and it's amazing i already have this one the coconut passion one but without the shimmer and when i saw that it came with the shimmer i thought i need it because this is something i'm gonna wear all summer long when I'm at the beach <laughs> hopefully let's say hopefully but this is the product and it's so good so if you guys can check this one out because it's everything you do one spray and you do have glitter everywhere but that it's not a chunky glitter it's a very flattering glitter around your body and also for your legs this is I really recommend this it's amazing so guys that was it for my youtube video if you guys like it click a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would really really appreciate it i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful evening okay bye